Godzilla X Kong, a new empire. Let's talk about it. Okay, so I have just seen the new Godzilla X Kong movie, and yeah, we're going to talk about it right now. And look, straight off the bat, I loved Godzilla Minus One. I thought that movie was terrific, and I feel like there is a place for a movie like that, where we have this beautiful human element, and just everything about it is story-driven. Love all that stuff. I think it was one of the best movies of last year. I feel like there's a place for that movie. And the stuff we get in here in the MonsterVerse. Now, with that being told, I'm not going to compare this movie to that. Because they're completely... Even though they have Godzilla in it, they're completely different movies. This movie, when I'm going into this type of movie. The thing I want to see. Is I just want to see Titans fighting each other. I just want to see them beating the living crap out of each other. That is what I want to see. That is all I really care about. To sit down, turn my brain off and go, Yo, bring on the Titans. Give me it. Smash them around. That's why I loved Godzilla um, vs. Kong. Because it was just two freaking colossal titans going at it, beating each other up. That's all I want to see. And that this movie delivers that. It delivers that. It delivers what I'm looking for. Now, something that I really liked about this movie is the way that they are... The way they use Godzilla and the way they use Kong. Now, the way that they use them is... look When you look at Kong... This story does follow Kong a lot more than we follow Godzilla. And this movie really... It feels like Kong is the character that we can relate to. That is the more human element in this movie than Godzilla is. And then even sometimes the humans. Because this story is about God... Uh, not Godzilla. This story is about Kong trying to fill that void of loneliness. Trying to fill that void of wanting and earning for family trying to not be the last of his species. So he's on this journey throughout Hollow Earth looking for that. And then I love the relationship that I built up with the little the little one and Kong. Those two, man. Well, when you meet the, as they say, mini Kong in here, when you meet him, oh man, I tell you. The first thing you're thinking is like, oh, I see what you are. I see what you are. But then as you go into it and you understand what is going on, the big grand scheme of things that's happening, you understand why that particular one is acting like that. And the relationship that they he builds with Kong, I really did. And that was the human element for me that really made me attached to Kong and this story is following his journey and that building of relationships. Now, when you get into Godzilla, Godzilla is like an MC of an anime. When everything is just down, you're out, it's like hopeless, everything like that, just turns up and just wrecks everyone. That's what Godzilla is. Godzilla is like, yo, we have a problem. Yeah, Godzilla's on the way. Let's go get him. And then he just runs through it. He runs through so many Titans in this movie. It's freaking awesome. I tell you, it's so cool to see, especially that one shot that you see in the trailer when he has, you know, he shoots at the ice and he's got the pink and that. Oh my God, it looked gorgeous on IMAX. It looked really good. But I love how he's like this... This godlike figure that is just inevitable. That's what it is. That's what it feels like. And it's like no one, like you just living in Godzilla as well. That's what it is. So I love how they're handling them in two different ways. We're not supposed to relate to Godzilla because he's like this godly being. We're not supposed to relate. Where Kong, we can relate to. So I love that dynamic that they add. Let's talk about Scar King, man. That man is on fraud. He's a fraud. He is an absolute fraud. I don't care what anyone says. Scar King is the biggest fraud in the MonsterVerse. Absolute, mate. He is, man acts so tough thinking he's the big dog. He's the guy that's like, yeah, I'll fight you. I'm, I'm going to fight you. And he takes one shot from, from, from one person. And then he's like, yo, homies, get him. And then it's like six on one. That's what Scar King is, man. Biggest fraud out there. He is a fraud. And I look, I love the battle that they had with him as well. I really did like that. And then obviously we know about the other Titan that's in here. And look, that other Titan was sick. It was that was a really sick Titan, man. I really like the design of it and the colors. It just oh, it was just gorgeous. It really looked gorgeous. Godzilla looked really good as well, especially with the pink. It looks really cool, man. And I'm glad that they made it 
and made it a thing to why he's pink and not blue anymore. And I like that idea. That actually worked. I also like the world building in here. They really dive into Hollow Earth and showcase you a bit more of it and dive into some of the lore as well behind it all. Some of it is kind of like, you know, there's one thing with the with the girl from Skull, Skull Island that they get that's, you know, connected with Kong. You know, so there's a story. It, it's kind of convenient. It's a convenient thing where you're like, okay, that's a bit convenient, but it is what it is. I mean, I don't expect anything less like anything else from this movie. I don't expect it to be a complex story or like that, but I was like, okay, that is what it is. And that's fine. So that was all cool. I really liked the look of Hollow Earth. That was all spectacular. I loved that the battles in there that Kong had was freaking ferocious and brilliant. Really enjoyed it. Like I said, Godzilla's battles were great. The final battle was awesome. Really enjoyed that. And it showcased you the scale that these Titans fight on. It was freaking awesome. As for the humans, I'm glad that there's less humans in here. There is less of human influence. And I think that is one thing that they've learned. From the first Godzilla to King of the Monsters, the human elements were way overpowering. Too much of it, and they weren't great. Like, you have a Godzilla movie that has doesn't have Godzilla in it, really. You have Godzilla King of the Monsters, and we're focusing 80%, 85% of the time on human characters that, let's be real, aren't great. So I'm glad that this time, again, with that what they did with Kong versus Godzilla is they took that element away and had like just one group this time instead of two groups. That was much better. And look, I love the dynamic between two of our characters. They they were hilarious, man. They really were. And Trapper, man, Trapper was I mean, he was a welcome sight to this. He his back and forth was just gold. And I love that stuff when they're on Hollow Earth and they're going back and forth. That was all fun. There's not much to the story of the humans and that. Like I said, they're just kind of there, which is fine as long as we don't follow it. Like, this isn't a deep story. You know, it's like, it's a very generic, simple story. But I tell you what, the Titans crashing and smashing and beating each other up was great. And that's really what it comes down to. And that's really what I want from this movie. So that was freaking awesome. I really like what they're doing with Kong, developing that story and making him a character. I really like that element. And that just adds the depth to Kong and makes you connect with him more. Godzilla, I just love that Godzilla's like him, bro. Godzilla just turns up and you just know. <laughs> You're all gone, bro. Don't mess with this guy. And I, there's something that happens with Italy and Godzilla. Hilarious. Absolutely love that little touch as well. But look, man, overall, there was destruction. There was times cl- crashing. Yeah. What more do you want from this movie? So I had a blast with it. I thought it was fun. So let me know what you guys thought. Maybe you guys didn't have as much fun as me. Let me know in the comment section below. Smash that like button. Click subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay safe and peace out.